This is the way of the tree of life. Walk ye in it. I have sealed in the heart of the messenger of music this peace, and your messenger has provided the names of God pertaining to the fruits of the tree of life, the spherot. Thus the beginning of the recitation is from the door of the mother, Mahut Shekinah, rising in the names of God, you internalize the name, and the name is God. Ascending the ladder, truly Jacob's ladder, you arrive at the point of Tiferet and continue ascending to the point of Keter. This exercise, beloved, establishes you in all levels of being. This sound I give you for your soul's liberation and for all who pray to be delivered from the miasma of the unconscious levels of being. This is the purging light. This is the body of Adam Kadman superimposed upon you as your own etheric body distorted since the beginning with God when that etheric blueprint was perfect. This is the sound that must be in the earth day by day for the rescue of those who have been bearers of light and fallen into the pits of darkness enticed by the fallen ones. Go not after those beloved. Go not after the baubles and trinkets that lurk on the astral plane to pull you away from the sound and the names of God. For thousands of years, Many have been forbidden to pronounce the names of God, for the name of God is power and empowerment. You shall owe your souls to no man, no potentate, no archdevil seated in the underworld before red flames. Nay, beloved, it is the name of God and the names of God are given for lesser and greater states of consciousness, for points of light and places where there must be the return of the shattered fragments. Thus the fragments of being must come together. And the vortex of the living word when you sound it becomes the fire enfolding itself that draws to you in a tight coil all of the parts of being that have gone astray. Many have given fragments of the soul to this or that one, and that one did not keep the fragment in a chalice holy, but rather did degrade and imprison the fragment. Mighty Astraea, the circle and sword of blue flame, is an infinite protection for the daily binding of those spirits that are anti-God. They have come up with their own names, names of archdevils. There are many such names and devils, beloved, and they sound their names to drown out the saints' recitation of the names of God. The power in the name, beloved, is known. This is the hour and this is the year when Saint Germain, who stood in the land as the prophet Samuel, has decreed 
that not only the name I am that I am, but those names of God pertaining to the tree of life must be known and must be heard. The sound of the word is the turning of worlds. It is the collapse of the intricate cones as beehives of fallen ones in darkness have sustained themselves by the not name, the anti name. Thus, when you send the sounding of the power of the name into the earth, into the four lower bodies, and you are absolutely sincere in your desire for absolute God purity, the name of God in recitation in the holy of holies of your heart chakra in the secret chamber of the heart will deliver you. Therefore I direct that this meditation in the heart of God shall therefore be repeated on a compact disc and on audio tape that you might hear this over a period of 60 minutes. And what is 60 minutes but the 360 degrees of the cosmic clock, point by point around the clock in recitation of the names of God, you can banish all deviltry put upon you. Nothing can withstand the name of God when you in purity invoke it. Therefore I say, and I say it again, go after momentums of rage and anger in the unconscious. Go after all that is unclean and not holy. Prepare yourselves by having a special robe that you wear at your altar in your home. Bathe and refresh yourselves. Place the holy oil and incense. Create an atmosphere where you are calling for purification of chakras, of levels of consciousness in the most profound and sincere way. Perhaps as you have never done before, as earnestly as I impel you and implore you to accomplish in these days. It is a wondrous hour to commune with God at five in the morning. If you retire at night at nine o'clock, you can be there. You can be here in this sanctuary and remember the power of the 10,000 times 10,000. Think of your numbers multiplied as you give an hour's recitation of these names. Blessed ones, you have sought surcease from pain, from inner groanings of soul, from patterns malefic. All of this can go into the violet flame. The violet flame is a part of the mystery of God. The violet flame dances in the spherot. So, beloved, I give you this. Guard it well and be certain that where you give your pearls, you are not casting them before the swine, for this is the highest manifestation of the inner word and name of God that we have released to you in this church and in this century. And not for many centuries has the earth been bathed in this holy sound. I speak of the holy sound, beloved. This piece of the music of the spheres has not sounded in the earth since the days of Atlantis, and you have heard it this day, and it is a gift to you from God. It is a gift, beloved. It is a gift to all who have sacrificed to see this organization become recognized as a legitimate religious body. I say to you, 
and more shall come, and it shall come because you shall build upon the foundation. And tier upon tier of sounds of Elohim will enter this octave of the physical plane where these sounds have not been heard since those ancient days when the great temples of Atlantis stood and before the decline and decadence and sinking of the continent. That is the last time you have heard these sounds. Think of this, beloved. You have waited 10,000 years and more to hear the sound you have just heard. Now I, the Mahachohan, encourage you to pursue this 5 a.m. meditation. And I give you the opportunity now to follow the words and sing this great, great hymn known of old by Sanat Kumara in this moment, beloved. I ask the choir to come forward to lead you again. And as you have the words, so follow them. Let us all chant the Om to prepare the chalice of the heart for the singing.
May the Spirit of the Lord be upon thee, one and all. For you have now the keys to perpetual oneness with that Spirit. Grow in grace and cover the earth with the sound of the word. I seal you in the fires, the cloven tongues. In the name of God, amen.